Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Moss Norman, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about Grafana. Grafana is an open source web application for visualizing data. Grafana allows you to build charts, graphs, and dashboards of data that you wanna visualize. And to understand how Grafana works, let's take a look at the typical architecture of uh, Grafana infrastructure. This is a simple example of how the infrastructure for Grafana might be configured. It could be a lot more complex than that, but for the purposes of explaining uh, Grafana, this is sufficient. So the first item in this diagram is the data producer. And the data producer actually produces the data that you wanna visualize. So it could be something like a Jenkins CI server, it could be a Raspberry Pi, it could be a virtual machine in a data center, uh, or it could be Kubernetes pods, or it could even be something like sensors, uh, like sensors uh, around your, your house, like IoT sensors, um, any kind of like weather instrumentation that has sensors on them. So you want to track like weather data as well. Uh, that is what the data producer uh, is in this diagram. In the data source in this diagram is a database such as Prometheus or InfluxDB or another uh, database like MySQL, for instance. And that database is connected to the data pr producer. And depending on the type of database, it will either pull data from the data producer, uh, maybe it's sensor data, so it's uh, pulling like temperature data or weather data, or the data producer is configured to push data to the database. Uh, so it depends really on the, on the data source, the type of data source. In the case of Prometheus, for instance, Prometheus actually reaches out to the data producer and there is a dedicated endpoint for Prometheus to pull data from. So the data producer will uh, aggregate data and provide it on a particular like HTTP uh, end URL endpoint that Prometheus then scrapes for, uh, for data and collects and stores in its uh, database. So depending on the database, the data source may pull data from the data producer or the data producer may push data to the data source. Now the Grafana server is the front end that actually visualizes the data. And in order to get the data, Grafana queries the data source and the data source returns the requested data based on the query. And that data is then displayed on a Grafana dashboard as you can see here. There's really two main categories of data that's uh, that's visualized in Grafana. The first category is metrics, and the second category is logs. An example of a metric might be CPU load or current memory usage, or the temperature of uh, the, the outside temperature, or even the temperature of like the CPU or the video card, something like that. In contrast, logs would look something more like this, where you have a timestamp, uh, logging level, whether it's error, info, warning, or debug, and then more detailed information. And if we look at an example Grafana dashboard, this is what Grafana dashboards look like. You can, uh, they're interactive dashboards of the data from the data source, and they include things like I mentioned before. It includes memory, CPU, uh, the requests over time. So it's a time series, uh, time series database here where we see the, the data over time. And it's a very interactive uh, dashboard. If I wanted to zoom in on a particular uh, time frame, I could just click and drag and it'll zoom in on, into that time frame, and it updates all of the dashboard accordingly. This dashboard is an example of metrics data, but if we wanted to look at logs, we can take a look at a sample logs panel, and then you can see, similar to what I showed you in the, uh, in the previous diagram, some sample, logs, uh, some sample logs and log entries, and a graph of a histogram showing the, uh, the logging levels. So, uh, error level logs, uh, warning level, and info level. Grafana has a lot of features and I'm only showing a handful of them here. But this video is to just give you a short overview on what Grafana is and how it works. Um, and if you'd like to see more videos, I'll be producing uh, some additional Grafana videos in the near future. If you like this video, please consider throwing a like on it and subscribing to the channel for uh, more Grafana related videos. And if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please leave them uh, in the comments below. Thanks for watching.